Hello, my name is Jebediah Yoder, and this is my brother Jacob on the camera. Today is uh, another wonderful episode of the Amish Firearm Academy. I think we're going to call this Battle of the Wood Grains. The last episode I saw the buggy 15 from the Amish Arms in the Pennsylvania. And we also have another very simple wood grain construction with the iron sights AK-47. Okay, this gun shoots the 556 or the 223, and this one shoots a 762 by the 39. So these are two guns, always the budding heads. Okay, Jack will show you we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different tests for these guns. Okay, the first test is going to be the book penetration test. We got the book there, Parenting for the Dummies. And I got to tell you, English, if you need a book called The Parenting for the Dummies, you probably shouldn't be doing the hokey pokey. Okay? Okay? We're here at the stage one and the stage two, really. I'm gonna put probably three shots into the parenting for dummies. I want to save some room for the AK. Okay, we got three good shots on the parenting for dummies. I'm gonna slide over just a little bit and I'm gonna put one good shot on the blue jugs. Here we go. Well, we got the AK English. And let's uh, run through this gamut again. I don't need to explain what we're doing. Let's do a stage one and two. Definitely need to put the ears on. Okay, Jacob, here goes. Parenting for the dummies. There's definitely a little more kick on this gun. Very effective. I'm gonna slide over just a bit and we're gonna get a straight shot onto the jugs. Here we go. I think the AK won that round. Definitely uh, all the jugs Got the demolished. This uh, 5.56 just to barely popped the bottom on the third jug, but it did go it did go through, but not all the way. So it definitely went through two jugs, but not all three. The AK-47 the AK-47 had just demolished all three of these jugs. So it definitely has a little bit more force, uh, delivering the force on the water. And the Parenting for Dummies books, all of these AK-47 and the 5.56, the 5.56 is a very small caliber, but all of these uh, bullets have gone through. Not a problem. The next test is a little bit interesting. We've been collecting these plastic bags that they hand out at the English grocery stores and put together with the Gorilla tape on the outside. Very good tape. And we're going to find out if we, if we can get through this big eight and a half pound ball. It's like a medicine ball, you know, for the exercise. I'm going to put three shots into the medicine ball and see if we can stop any of these bullets. Here we go. Okay. It 
It did not hold up as good as I thought it was going to. This is a medicine ball. The entrance holes do not look very big, but the exits are very sizable. And I do believe that both the AK and the AR have gone through this eight and a half pound medicine ball made of the plastic. What about the pistol? Stop rolling. Hello. Stop rolling. Okay. There you go. Keep rolling. There you go. Okay. These are still rolling. Hello? The next test is the Copper Chef skillet. Uh, this uh, skillet is supposed to be a world revolutionary skillet and uh, nothing stick to it. But I got to tell you, after just a couple of months of using this uh, skillet, the eggs and the bacons and everything is uh, sticking to it. So I don't think it's as a quality as Dave's are trying to tell you. And we're going to find out uh, really nothing, but I just wanted to shoot the skillet because it, it pisses me off. Not a bad group, I say English. I just noticed one of the ricochets actually went to the crappy chef, I mean the copper chef, and hit it. I don't know if it went through, but we should look before I shoot it. Let's go check this out real quick. This is interesting, English. This uh, copper chef took one right to the neck on the ricochet and still the AK-47 went through the medicine ball, still had enough gumption, armor spirit, as I like to say, to get through the copper chef just on the, going sideways. This is a piece of crap skillet. English, do not buy this crap. It's not in the question if this gun is going to get through the crappy chef, copper skillet, copper chef, crappy copper skillet. Okay, here we go. The lack of shooting it. That's a too easy English. It's a copper chef. I think it's very important to note that the copper is using a copper lining and it will come off very easy. As you can see inside there, that is not a full copper. It's very important to know what you are getting with this crappy chef, I mean copper chef. Junk. Okay, we're all the way back at the table. We're gonna take a few shots at the dummy on the left. I think nine is pretty good. We are on the last leg of this race in this hot Nevada sun. And this time we're gonna put as tight group on the, on the uh, dummy as I can with the AK-47 in the standard uh, iron sights. Okay, Jacob, let's do this.
the AR-15. All nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All nine shots inside the hand. That's very good. And the AK is uh, uh, pretty similar. It's a little bit wider of a spread, but the holes are bigger, but definitely still hitting center mass, which is important. One more stage for the buggy 15. It's about a 50 meter shot on two jugs. First the blue one, and then the, uh, the big uh, clear one up there. And I'm gonna see if I can get them each with a one shot. Okay, Jacob, let's get it on. Good shot there, Jeff. Okay. Well, second and final shot. Head shot, 50 meters. That's a good kill. That's some good shooting. This is buggy 15. It's a good gun. I don't know if the AK is going to be able to perform as good as this soccer does. So let's uh, give it a go. All right. But here we go. Final stage with the AK-47. We're going to go with the red one first. Jug. Well, that is a one shot kill on that boy. Oh no, Jacob. We have a casualty. This is uh, not good. I think the GoPro, <laughs> it passed away like a Lieutenant Dan. Okay. Is it just going to go be the fisherman now? I'm gonna go swear at God. We're gonna call this guy Lieutenant Dan from now on. Cause he's just a, a body and some ball. And a no legs, okay? Well, that's it, Jacob and the English. Thank you so much for watching the Amish Firearm Academy. We are grateful, we are blessed. And we want to remind you always to keep it safe and to keep it simple. Oh no, Jacob, it looks like we found a couple of other jugs that we forgot, huh? That's all I got for you there.